I'm such a pro that I said, give me the kids, give me the dog, and you know what? Throw fire in. I want fire. I want to make it more difficult. I demanded fire. Um, I, I do, look, I'm a father, I have a son, I have a daughter, I have a dog. So uh, every day in my life I already have that covered. Uh, so I really enjoy working with, uh, with kids and animals, uh, and that's probably been on almost the majority of my movies. Uh, um, and I, we just got so lucky with this cast, and our adults were obviously so great, but the kids were equally great. We spent some extra time. I think I was there a few weeks before filming and the kids came up a little later than that and we sort of just, you know, we met, Andy had us meet and uh, we tried to hang out a little bit. Um, I don't have very much experience with kids so I was very nervous about it but I uh, it ended up being great and uh, we all got along really well and um, I think after the first few weeks, I mean, it was just like we were we were friends, you know? <laughs> yeah, um, there's one scene where uh, John is playing the piano and she is, um, you know, uh, listing off rappers and a lot of those uh, she just kind of made up. She just kind of said and they ended up being people. I think Lil John was one of them. And uh, yeah. She had combined sometimes, I think on the Little John that cracked us up so much. Yeah. She was remembering rappers' names and just started Mac, and then we'd be <laughs> like, I think that's right. That, that, <laughs> that, that is one rapper. is correct. Keep going. <laughs> Well, it's it. You hope going in that you're going to not only cast right for the individual roles, but that as a family unit on screen, on and off, everyone's going to come together. I always feel my job is to create an environment where we can bond as quickly as we can. So a lot of laughter behind the scenes, and a lot of time spent with people hanging out and seeing each other and meals. And so by the time you put that on camera, you're getting that uh, attitude. And we got lucky because everybody was so much fun to work with that I think that any set that gets Brianna or any of that cast is a lucky set. I would not say that I'm a master at improv, no. Um, I do enjoy watching people improv. I enjoy improvisation in general, but um, I did, I definitely learned so much from being on this set and just getting to see Keegan and Legs go at it, just back and forth. Um, yeah, it was a really great learning experience for me. Yes, that is one thing I would say I'm a master at. <laughs> she is, I have to say, she's brilliant at it. Because <laughs> I'd be behind the camera trying to make her laugh sometimes, and she would just have this look. And there was one time when she's, uh, where she's in the truck and she's driving, there's green screen, and we are shaking it all over the place. And she has a lot of stuff she has to deal with. And while she's doing it, and I think I'm behind the camera trying to make her laugh, and she's trying to stay focused in between the shots, and she's like, Stop it! Just go! Just go! Uh, and she was always able to keep up with everybody by being the rock. It was super fun. I didn't necessarily go into this thinking he would be, like, angry or anything, but I definitely wasn't expecting him to be such a sweetheart, and so it made those scenes really easy because that's just really a part of him. He's just really a sweet, nice guy. I'm not sure it was always in the script as much as it was a, a kind of part of our filmmaking approach. And our producer, Todd Gardner, who has made so many funny movies over the years, and myself, we've, we've worked together a lot. We have a same sense of humor. Uh, and you bring that to a set, and then you start finding like-minded cast members, and it just starts bringing itself to life. And again, trust your comedic actors who are on set to have an idea. I, I will take any, I, like the craft service guy could come up and be, it'd be funny if the microphone hit him on the head while he was talking and we'd be like, let's try that. So we always made it, and I'd say there are many bits that are in that movie that were inspired by somebody in the crew coming up with the idea. 
That was something that was developed. There was always going to be the notion that as a character, he was supposed to be John's right-hand man. And But that's a lot of entrances that are like, oh, I'm here. Or he always had to be there. And we'd always loved in the TV show MASH, the character Radar was always right there for him. And then that became a discussion with Keegan. And then it just elevated itself to, okay, this is one of those slight hyper-reality moments where you turn and Keegan's there and Keegan pops up and Keegan came up with great entrances and exits. The action films I have been in, they were very, there's a lot of dark humor in them. There's not very much dark humor in this film <laughs> uh, at all. But uh, they were sort of similar in the sense that, they, you know, we still had stunts. Um, uh, we still had a lot of fun on set. Everyone on set was always happy to be there. Um, and yeah, but, but they, the tones were definitely very different and it was different, uh, you know, hanging out with the kids between scenes too. Um, but I had a lot of fun on it and uh, I would be totally excited to do like a lighter comedy again. Judy is so talented. Judy is ridiculously talented. Um, I think she's hilarious and she's also a very talented dramatic actress. She um, can cry at the drop of a hat. It's ridiculous. Um, there were scenes where she was crying and I was supposed to be crying and I was like, stop <laughs> upstaging me. Um, but yeah, she's the best and she's such a sweetheart and um, I don't know, she makes everyone feel like you're great friends immediately and yeah I was, I was ecstatic she really her. brings a, a, a set together um, yeah. because she does become sort of set mom and she knits all day on set yeah. um, and <laughs> makes things for everybody um she and I'd known each other for a long time and had been looking for ways to work together and when she read this script she wrote me a letter um, and the letter was not only why she wanted to do the movie but a very good friend of hers had become a marine field biologist and she really saw in this character her friend and so as a director when you get that type of letter from a, an amazing actress like Judy Greer you're like uh because Brianna just sent a hundred dollars and said cast me and I was like okay <laughs> um, uh, but but Judy sending that letter was really a turning point for me. I would, I would yell profanities at John Cena and then be like, he can't chase me until he finishes the scene. And then I would just <laughs> run as soon as it was done. Um, I think trying to, I think the challenge of a movie like this is, it is hard to do a movie with the classic, there's something for everyone. It's hard to do a movie in the PG space. It's hard to do a movie that you feel kids will have a great time at and their parents won't hate that they're there. And I think that's the challenge every day is a reminder and a reminder to the cast that sometimes while we might want to say it a certain way or have a more adult take, uh, we have to restrain ourselves and find a different way for the comedy to play out.